Hi, this is Tom with View Micrometrology. Today we're going to cover measurement basics. I'm going to look at basic operation of point, circle, line, and arc finders. I look at basic geometric features. Uh, we're going to create, move, and edit measurement steps. And we're going to look at some routine controls, uh, keyboard shortcuts, and default measurement options. I'm going to keep it simple, keep it short. Um, we're looking at the uh, fast start part, the QVI fast start part here. So it's part's been around for 60, 70 years. I'm not really sure, but it's been used for <laughs> lots of training. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to this hole and I'm going to measure it. And I'm going to go to this line and I'm going to get the the uh, some edges here and measure a line. I'm going to go over to this arc and measure this arc. And I think that will be it today. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go to live view. This is just sort of giving you an overhead uh, look at it. But let's go to live. OK, so we're at that lower left bolt hole um, through hole. And I've got the backlight at 10, which is fa it's fine for this case. Um, this gray in the measured steps is about the same gray as the glass here. That's about where I usually like to have things. So, okay, um, to create a measurement step. First, you choose the feature that you're looking to create. So in this case, I want a circle, measure or construct a circle. You open that up. And in this, I mean, you can rename your defined circle, or you can leave it at C1. I'm going to name it C, C left hole. I like to name things according to their type. And the first letter is C, mentioning that it's going to be a circle. And then the, the description is the name essentially so when i look at this later on i can know exactly what this circle is and it's not c1 c1 tells me nothing so you have this open and that was done by clicking the feature once that's open you select your finder so in this case i want the circle edge finder so i've opened it up and we have our finder and this here, you can left click to change the radii of the outer and the inner radius circles. When this does a uh, an edge scan, I'll move it a little bit, it goes radially outward. So look at this donut. Your scan is on the donut, but it's from the center to the outside. So it'll go this way or this way, or this way, that way. Make sense? OK. I'm going to switch to basic. And what we're going to do is try to find this edge. It's fairly simple. If you click Run, in default, with this kind of edge, it's really easy for our software to detect it. Backlit edges are very easy to find. I click OK. It's populated this circle feature with the points found with the circle finder. Once you've got it, click OK. There we have our measure circle left hole. I'm going to move over to the right hole and do the same operation. There it is. I'm going to control click on the video window to go exactly where I want to go. And another one, I'm going to name it C right hole. And open up the circle finder to get our edge points. I'll run this. I'll click OK. OK. So now we have circle C left hole and circle C right hole. Now, let's see. We'll do a line. Oh yeah, so I was going to do this line. Centered it. And so we want to choose a line feature. 
L1, I'm going to call it L bottom line, uh, edge, L bottom edge. How about that? And I'm going to open a line edge finder. Line edge finder is directional from one side to the other. And the arrows show you which direction your scan is going to take place. And right now it's going to from the left to the right. That's not going to work because my my edge is not going that. My, my edge is actually uh, parallel with, with that direction. We don't want that. We want the edge perpendicular to the scan direction. So I'm going to right click on one of these squares on the corners. When I right click, I can move it in a circle. And I'm just going to move it so it's facing upward. And you can change the size. I'll change it so it's bigger. And then I click Run. There we have our edges, edge points again. And then I click OK. And it populates the line feature with the points found in the line finder. I click OK. I'm going to do that again and show you a little bit different way to change the, the orientation of that AOI. I use say the word AOI, it's just area of interest. It's the green box that I moved. So we're going to call it top, uh, sorry, L top edge. I'm going to go over to the top edge and find that. Okay, right here. Let's use that. Select that. And I'm going to say default because I want to actually show you a different way to move this. Uh, if you want it to go a certain direction, you can control arrow. So hold control and tap the up, down, left, or right. Or, yeah, arrows. And you can. If I press control up, it will make the arrows point up. But you have to have the video window highlighted there, or down, or left, or right. Um, in this case, again, we want the scan direction to be perpendicular to the edge. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click Run, OK, OK. All right. And now we've got two holes, we got two lines. We are going to go do an arc. And I think we had that arc nearby. So I'm going to control click to kind of navigate precisely. There, there's an arc. Center it. OK. Now, what kind of feature do you want? An arc feature. So an arc. A top right, because I know that's where it is on the part. A for arc. And we need to select our arc edge finder. And like the circle finder, it will go radially outward. Imagine that this was completely full, like a donut, like before. And it will look for points going radially outward. So. When I say it looks for points radially outward, it's looking for points of contrast, pixel to pixel, from here to here, and from here to here, and all of it in between. And so point to point contrast, meaning like, OK, it's, it's dark here, and then it's light here. So where's that inflection point where it changes? And it will actually find it for you. If I click Run right here, it actually does find it, but that arc is not in the right place for my tastes. So I'm going to spin it. So like before, you right click on the corner. Oops. Oops. Oh, wait. No. There. Uh, Took a little while. So these boxes on the edge of the arc, you right click those boxes and you can spin it. And then you left or right click on these boxes to change its shape. 
change it's how long it is and its radius. So that's pretty good right there. Can go ahead and take that. All right. So that's fairly good. Now it's going to go radially outward. The scan direction is this way. So from right to left. I can run and it finds all those points. And I click OK. OK. Now, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. Let's delete it. Yes. The system sounds are too loud. Apologize. So, I go to control, go to measure circle, C left hole, and I'm going to start there. And I press play. And it will do what we programmed. And that's fairly simple, right? Once you have a few things in here, you can change their order. Uh, you, all you have to do is select it, right click, cut, and then move it somewhere else. Or Control X, and then Control V, paste it somewhere else. What I'm going to do, I'm going to say, um, let's do the C left hole last. So it's highlighted. I should mention green. The green highlighted step is where your program exists in play order. So uh, we're going to play from the green step. So if I were to have the green here, it would play from the L top edge line. And it would go all the way down to the bottom and then stop. So it's wherever your program currently is going to run from. The black step is the step that you're um, editing. It's the, the highlighted step. So whenever you want to move things, say I want to measure, I want to move this. If your highlighted step is the same as your run step, it will be dark green. So control X, it disappears. Highlight the step you want it to go below and then control V paste. And you've got it below. So if I run this from the beginning, it will do the right hole, bottom edge, top edge, and then the left hole, and then the top right arc. So you can always change whatever you're doing um, with control uh, keyboard shortcuts. Control X, C, or V. Um, control D, I believe, is, is delete as well. And that is basic, ultra basic measurement. Thank you.